guys. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's day 14 and I have some super exciting news for you guys today. Super, super exciting news. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for a couple of people to pop on here. I'm really thirsty, so I'm just gonna start the video drinking some water. It is Tuesday and it is day 14. Whoops, 14. Hi. So, I'm just gonna wait for a couple people to pop on. Hi, Dimitri. Before I talk about all the exciting news going on today. Abby, Angie, hi. Hi, comp dude. <laughs> hi, Olipio. You guys are awesome. Hi, carnivores. What's up? Your Instagram's cool. <laughs> oh, so many things today. Hi, Alicia. How's everybody doing today? Are you guys refeeding? Hi, Sabrina. Hey, Jeremy, what's up? How's your refeed going, Jeremy? Let me know. Is anybody else refeeding today or is anybody back on the fast? Hey, Siobhan. Siobhan, I just sent you like three emails today. The welcome email, the check-in, like the quick reference guide. And for everybody who's subscribed to the email list, I sent you guys my email with all my exciting news so you guys might always already know. Um, Jeremy, Jeremy says all keto. Anna's here. Uh, Alipio says hit the like button. Okay, sure, you can hit the like button. Alicia's on day nine, crazy. Sabrina, I'm trying to start my water fast, but I can't stop eating today. That's okay, no problem. Just start tomorrow or start after your last meal. You're good to go. Ayana says, hi, Alicia's feeling better today. That's fantastic. See, it's just when you get over that beginning hump and then you feel better. Ooh, <laughs> Dimitri, you know what's up. <laughs> and she's on day six in three hours. Six more days until the new 21 day water fast. Guys, like I'm on cloud nine right now. Is this what people look like when they don't eat for three weeks, two weeks, <laughs> two weeks. Imagine this, every time it happens, I'm like, hey, I didn't eat for two weeks. <laughs> I haven't eaten in 2020 yet. I haven't eaten this year yet, but I'm in a good mood, guys. So many things happened today. I am so excited. Um, for any of you who guys, who is new to fasting, just ease in with OMAD, get there, feel good, start intermittent fasting. Um, I actually didn't take them yet. I'm about to take them now, so <laughs> I'm going to take my cell phone like, while I'm talking to you guys. I'm a little out of breath because I was like running around the house being like so excited. Okay, do you guys want me to, which news do I start with? Do I start with the fact that it's day 14 and I haven't eaten for two weeks? Yeah? Or do I start by the fact that there's 20 people on here and nine likes? Should I start with that one? <laughs> Can you guys hit that like button for me? I really appreciate it. Ooh, okay, should I show you guys the merch? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I've been talking about making merch for months and months and months, pretty much since the summer. You guys already know, it's like not even exciting for you guys anymore. But I've been talking about coming up with some fast forward to health shirts or just with the fast forward logo. And we kept talking about this main theme that kept arising, which is called fail forward. And at first I didn't want to use that as the swag because failing is a negative thing. But remember, failing forward is a very positive thing you learn from your mistakes. Whether you're starting a business out, whether you're trying to get healthy and lose weight, whether you're, I don't know, like trying some other habits in your life, whether you're learning a new instrument, you will always fail no matter what. When a baby is taking his baby steps, he's gonna fall a thousand times before he gets up and takes his step. So you fail and then you fail forward. You learn from your mistakes and you keep going. So that's why that message is so powerful for me. And I'm gonna have tons of new lines of merch and I'm gonna work on some cool shirts like what Alipio was talking about yesterday about like faster's gone wild. But I really wanted to talk about fail forward first because it's such a good theme to kickstart the year. So the first collection is fail forward. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. I think you guys saw it already. Uh, I put it in the description box here, so it's already there. <laughs> when are we gonna have fasting babies on live? Hmm, whenever I have a baby, <laughs> it's probably gonna be a couple months. Um, Danielle is here and she just asked me a question. Make some babies. Well, I feel like I'm really excited to see what our baby's gonna be looking like. Um, when are we gonna have babies? Does water fasting help you when you're going through emotional turmoil? That's her answer. 
Okay, that's her question, sorry. I love the merch, I'll be making my purchase soon. Thanks, Zach, you're awesome. So, oh, whoops, I'm not good at this live thing yet. Uh, you were saying day 14 almost over, feeling good. Oh my God, I have so many things to talk about. So let's answer Danielle's question first. For me personally, I do absolutely feel like fasting, even OMAD, even intermittent fasting, but especially water fasting, helps me completely let go of that anxiety and stress. Like you guys know, I've been telling you over and over, I've dealt with tons of stress since November. And the truth is what happened to me after I went to Japan, I, cause I went on vacation, like once in a lifetime trip and had a bunch of carbs in Japan, as you guys know. And I started like gaining some weight and trying to fast it off. And I was struggling a lot too, because honestly stress affects you and stress affects your body. It raises your cortisol and stress makes it hard to lose weight. So I had gained quite a little bit of weight there and I was like just kind of freaking out and panicking and feeling stressed. But after doing this water fasting and really committing to it, I really feel so much better. Like it feels like I'm on cloud nine. It just feels like I'm so much better because as you guys know, or as you guys might not know, is that when you do fasting, you get that mental clarity, but a lot of the different things that come from fasting is that all your mental things come from your gut health. So your gut health actually contributes to ADHD, stress, anxiety, and a lot of the time also depression. So fasting absolutely helps you deal with that stress and turmoil in your life because it really helps you clear your mind. I didn't see the post that it's behind you. They keep dropping. Oh, did I drop it? Boom. Okay, let's, we gotta do this, you know? Okay, wait. I hate it when it's not stuck nice. Uh, okay, are you ready? Boom! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, I'm gonna go up and read a couple comments. You guys have some good stuff today. Dimitri says, stress is the hunger and weight gain hormone, 100%. Almost didn't see the post-its behind you. They keep dropping, like you keep dropping pounds. Wow, true. Agree, the calm mind after a week or two is like nothing else. Thanks for your mental place. I watch them every day to keep going. Keep going on day two. Good job, Diana, you're awesome. So, okay, I decided to weigh myself, but then keep in mind that due to stress in the holidays, like I was higher than usual, especially like that last week of holidays. So. I would say that my weight, cause you know when you gain weight for the holidays, like in those next like four or five days, it's a lot higher than usual. And it drops down right away and most of it's water weight anyway. So it's nothing really crazy. But in terms of actual weight on the scale so far, I'm two weeks in and I've dropped just over 20 pounds. Um, oh, I was gonna tell you guys at the end, I have seven more days to go, but today is almost over and so I'm like hiccuping or something. <laughs> and the 21st is pretty much like that day where you're cooking and prepping and making your bone broth and anticipating everything. So it feels like I almost have six days to go. Cause we took 20, we took 14 off. Whoa, can you believe that? All the yellow ones are gone. All these ones are gone. We're, we're at blue. That's all we have left. That's the day I'm breaking my fast. Then these are gonna be some nice refeed days. I kept making a mistake. Chinese New Year is actually on the 24th, not the 25th. So I made a mistake there. But honestly, I'm feeling it like the first thing that gets skinnier for me. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna show you guys a before and after because I took a picture when I was like super bloated and gained some weight in December, which I was like thinking of hiding from everyone because I was kind of ashamed that I gained some weight back. But again, you know what? The truth here is that we're being transparent and seeing that weight goes up, weight goes down. As long as you keep getting back on the horse and going, you're good to go, it happens to everybody. I'm gonna pause for a little second and ask you guys if there's 33 people on here, if you guys can hit that like button for me, it really helps me grow my channel and it somehow helps me with the algorithm on YouTube and gets other people to view my videos more. So by doing the little likey thing and you know sharing my videos, I really appreciate that a lot. Coralie says, I wish I could do a long fast again. I'm trying my best to remember to see it as a failure as fail forward over the last eight months. Every time I try, I can't get past four days. Coralie, four days is phenomenal. Are you kidding me? How many of your friends can you say actually did 14, four days? How many of your friends actually could say I didn't eat for four days? Don't forget, four days is phenomenal. Don't ever be thinking that's a fail at all. 
When you started fasting, what was the telltale, telltale sign that you were gonna fall off the wagon? For me, I started bargaining with myself. Yeah, me too, Dimitri. So me, when I was failing, I was like, open the fridge, I'm like, hmm, should I eat? No, I'm not gonna eat. Should I eat? No, I'm not gonna eat. I'm like, well, I fasted for two days. I did a really good job. Maybe I should just like give myself a reward. No, 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 I'm not gonna eat. Well, I've been doing so well lately. Maybe I should just have like, like a little snack, like some nuts or something. No. Oh, come on, I've been doing so well. I should just be nice to myself. I always try harder than everyone else and everybody's eating stuff and, no. <laughs> That's my mind like 24 seven, guys. Oh. <laughs> Hi, hun, I really wanted water fast, but I'm afraid that not working out, I will lose all the muscle tone in my booty. Well, I mean, you know those booty bands, Samantha, you could do some booty bands. <laughs> Hi, Maxi mate, you're there. Uh, Esme is on day, first day. Well, I keep putting my hand in front of the camera. Oops. Um, okay, Samantha, for your booty, do some booty work. Do some booty work. You can't even see my leg. Wait, maybe you can see it in the microwave. No, you can't see it. In, that's not, is that my microwave? That's my microwave. Is that my microwave? I forgot. <laughs> Um, just get on the floor, do some clamshells and stuff. You won't lose any muscle mass. Your booty will stay nice and peachy, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about your booty. Most of the time, I feel like the main weight goes from like arms, face, and your gut. So the only time you actually start to lose muscle is if you get under 4% body fat, which like even male athletes and marathon runners are like 8% or something, according to Dr. Fung. So you're not going to lose it. Uh, Samantha's asking about juice fast. No for me for juice fast because people think juice is super, super healthy, but juice is lots of sugar. Juice, fruits, sugar, 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 sugar. The whole point of fasting is to reduce your insulin levels. Juice fast is just like drinking liquid pure sugar. So imagine you have like six oranges and you juice those six oranges and make like this much juice. That's a lot more sugar because you're probably not able to eat six oranges just like that. So, uh, do people usually lose one pound a day on water fasts? For water fasts, the average after water weight, so calculate after water weight, is usually 0 0.5 pounds of fat per day. That's after water weight. Um, gonna zoom back and see some questions over here. Uh, how often do you have any cheat days when you're not fasting, Zach? I don't have cheat days. I don't consider them cheat days. I'll make delicious meals, but I will not have cheat days. Like, I just don't call it a cheat because keto is so versatile. If I wanna have like a sweet, because I, I quit sugar, if I ha wanna have a sweet, then I just incorporate it into a keto. I just like ketify everything. So if I want burger, if I want a nice juicy burger, I put a lettuce wrap around it. And I just got this tiny waffle maker to make a chaffle, which is cheese and egg waffle to put over my buns, that's pretty cool. Uh, over my burger. So uh, I'm gonna start making what I eat in a day OMAD videos because I want you guys to see what kind of stuff that I eat uh, before and after refeed. I'm gonna keep checking over here. Mm -hmm. So that was to answer Zach's question. Mm -hmm. Your body needs a, t yeah. Sometimes, Alipio was saying sometimes your body needs a break. Hey girl, I'm wondering about coconut water drink fasting, Lucy. Coconut water drink fasting is a no-no because it has a lot of sugar, so it can spike your insulin. So definitely a no-no-no for that one. I know a lot of people, for some reason, they talk about coconut water drink fasting, but definitely a no-go. Dimitri says fasting increases growth hormone to preserve lean muscle mass. It's a survival mechanism. You won't lose muscle unless you're going crazy. Exactly. When you're fasting, your HDH, so your human growth hormone levels actually go up. Do you like juice fast? No face, boobs, and stomach all going carnivore nurse, yeah. Do people usually lose? I answered that one. Third day all water away from me. Yeah, first couple days are really definitely water away from me too. Uh, Esme asking, Esme, am I saying that right? Esme, can I drink some coffee? You can have some black coffee, just no creamer, no sugar, no sweetener. Um, Karim, how much water weight is gained after a water fast refeed? Really depends on each person. So. You'll know by yourself, but just remember, in general, the rule of thumb is 0.5 pounds of fat lost per day. 
If it's more than that, most likely there's a lot of water weight in there, okay? When do I consume the salt? Before I feel woozy. <laughs> Better to take it before you have it when you're woozy. Uh, tea is okay, honey's a no-no, creamer's a no-no. Carnivore nurse says, check, my doc checking my lab for anemia, waiting on results. Ooh, okay. Definitely be careful about this, anemia and keto. Yeah, you should check that out. There was someone that had um, low hemoglobin the other day who's not fasting, but she passed out at a casino and she went to the hospital with EMT or something and it was low hemoglobin, hemo, sorry, low hemoglobin. So she actually is anemic or she's supposed to be anemic or something like that. So they're checking that out. So make sure you check that out. Do you need to have salt during fasting even if you don't feel bad? The salt, like honestly, Realistically, you can go through fasting without anything. I have salt whenever I feel like I might be getting woozy or if I start getting dizzy. It's everything's pretty optional. Like I'm not telling you guys you have to do anything, but I like to have some salt, especially if I'm feeling like kind of weak and just uh, lazy. So I have some salt in my water. Again, it's just like a little pinch and just have it if you're feeling super dizzy, it's not. Um, yeah, my mom, like I said, she's dealing with some stuff right now, so uh, she's probably watching, but she just needs some rest for a couple of days because a lot of stuff's going on, so I hopefully, we're wishing some love to her and hoping she gets well soon. Uh, Sabrina says, I find it amazing you can work on just water. Yeah, it's crazy. Isn't it crazy? You'd think, yeah, Dimitri, I'll let her know. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, you wouldn't think that you can focus on just water like people don't think that you can live on just water thanks Sabrina uh, Vash is saying do you use multivitamins while fasting yeah all the links are in the description box I use this one not necessarily every day but you can share fell off the wagon at day F that could be five or four <laughs> ah you retracted your message I'm actually gonna take my vitamins now because I haven't taken them all day you're just gonna watch me chug all my vitamins. And then I'm gonna talk about my new swag. I had acid reflux after three days, so scary, I broke it. Is it a big problem? Yeah, apple cider vinegar, Kareem. Take half an ounce of apple cider vinegar, put it in some water and drink it. And it will help close your esophageal valve to get rid of that acid reflux because it definitely happened to me at the beginning. Patricia, no, I am not pro dry fasting. I don't encourage dry fasting because the added benefits are really not worth the added risks. So you can get all the benefits from water fasting alone. So I don't like dry fasting and I don't like talking about dry fasting either. Mm. <laughs> I really don't like taking these. <sighs> okay, I'm taking a pill break as you guys are coming up with new questions. Who's seen the swag? Oh, no. Okay. That was my biotin. Just took these two. Again, these are all optional, but if you guys want, link is in the bio. This is for acid. Well, pretty much everything I'm taking right now. Uh, I don't really like taking them in the morning. I like taking them in the evening. Mm-hmm. Basically, these are the two main ones. Yeah, I've seen some of his, his lectures on fasting and I also just finished Complete Guide to Fasting and I'm just about to finish Obesity Code as well. For all the 39 people on here right now, can I get a little likey-like? Ooh, 40 people. If I can get a little thumbs up on the video, that'd be awesome. And I'm gonna show you my swag. I'm tired because I've been working all day. <laughs> That's why I'm tired. But like I said, usually my eyes get more sunken in during the water fast and it comes back after. I don't think I look that tired. I just didn't wear makeup, Kareem. <laughs> oh, I'm choking on that one. Okay, so. Exciting number news number one is tomorrow. Marty says she did dry fasting. Yeah, I, I don't, mm -mm, no dry fasting for me. Um, 
Difference between vitamins and no vitamins. Yeah, I don't look that tired. Come on, Kareem. I don't feel like I look that tired. You, now you're making me all self-conscious. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks. I feel good about my skin. Okay, Kareem, you offended me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so number one, tomorrow you guys probably saw it up and you can hit the little button to send you guys a reminder. But my premiere video of my first episode that I worked really hard on and it's more of a documentary style thing. I'm still going to be doing my lives, but it's a documentary style thing to educate you guys about all these hidden secrets about obesity and how we started eating the way that we have been eating with all the high carbs and how we pretty much got fat in the first place because of this like documentary that came out in 1977. So... Your token of dislike is true. I think it's my lucky dislike. If I don't get my dislike, so whoever is doing my lucky dislike, like keep it up, because it makes me feel good. Now it's like a very loyalty dislike. I fell off the fasting wagon at day five. I'm over. Oh, you just retracted your message, so I can't see it. So anyway, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Central Time. I think my face looks normal, guys. Now you guys are all talking about me. Am I that tired? <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'm that tired. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, whatever. My face looks slim, so even if I'm tired. Mm. Okay. Exciting news number two. Gotta put my password in. Imagine you guys can see my password. <laughs> I know, I, it's kind of cute. I like my dislike. I wonder who it is, but it's obviously someone I know and they just like, whatever. It's now my lucky dislike. Okay, are you guys ready? I have been talking about swag for months and do you want to see? I've been working on it so hard. Here is our new swag collection for fast forward to health. So I'm going to walk you through the website somehow. I know it's kind of blurry, but um many different things okay this is the fail forward full leg legging so the whole thing says fail forward this one is like a more subtle one that says fail forward just on the calf this is a unisex crew neck and if you click on them you have tons of different colors so whatever color you like you can do that Ooh, who likes orange anyway so that's pretty cool what is that? Okay, and then... That's one. And then here are the hoodies. So that's like the premium hoodie. And then that's the long sleeve shirt. Again, these are all tons of colors. This is the women's flowy top. This is the v-neck, because I know a lot of girls were asking for v-neck because it's kind of annoying to wear crew neck. So colors again blue red and a lot of options like check this out for sizing I have lots of options so everybody's included men women extra small extra large everybody's included on here and then these are the hoodies I like the hoodies a lot there's two different kinds of hoodies so these hoodies have these colors and then there's the classic hoodie down here. I got this one because I thought it was cool. And this one. So yeah, different colors of hoodies. And this is a regular tank top for everyone. It's unisex. Unisex long sleeve if you guys go jogging or something outside and it's cold. So again, tons of colors for this as well. And then regular t-shirt. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I made this little mug. I thought it was kind of cute. Sipping my way to sexy. Because, you know, drinking water. I know it's a coffee mug, but I'm weird. And I drink a lot of my water from coffee mugs. And then on the back, I wrote, stay calm, drink water, stay busy. You got this. So just to motivate you on how to get through it when you're fasting. Click on the coffee mug. Did you see it? Did I pass it too fast? But there's also... Thank you, Veronica. Oops. And I also have different colors of the mug. 
I like it, sipping my way to sexy. Like, the only thing I was gonna change about that is because we're already sexy. Duh. Every single one of us, despite what we look like, despite anything, we're already sexy. Sexy is a state of mind, but it just made me feel good about sipping my way to sexy, you know? Because it's like a daily reminder that you're doing something about it and feeling better and more self-confident from within. Oh, thanks, Alicia. Um, so international shipping under the thing. Oh, I show you. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love it if you guys can watch my video tomorrow, the new premiere, and let me know what you think about that style. That would be cool. I really like these leggings too, guys. Yeah. There's like the two different colors. These ones have the mint ones. But if you go here underneath, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? You click on it, it says United States, Canada, and international. So regardless of where you are in the world, if you're in Europe, you can get it. And there's an EU distributor there. If you get it from US, you can get it from the US distribution center. And it depends from where you're ordering from what the shipping is. So I tried to keep the prices low because it gives us like a recommendation about what the price is. So I tried to put it a couple dollars under the main price, but hopefully that's okay because it was like the cheapest I can get because the recommended prices are higher and I just tried to put them lower, but it's because of the quality of the stuff and where it ships from and stuff. So i super excited. Mine are coming as well, so I'm pretty excited to see them and I'll be wearing them in my videos as well. Yay. I'm gonna go back and catch up on some comments, guys. <laughs> Princess said, I just jumped on your face, looks skinny, thanks. Alicia says, I love the green leggings. We're fat because of emotional eating and food addiction. Infinity, there's also more to it than just emotional eating and food addiction. Part of it's our hormones that we can't control. And it's the way that we've been raised and society kind of trained us to eat a certain way. Um, but you guys will hear about it in the video tomorrow. Veronica says the active wear is nice. Thanks, Veronica. Alicia says she's getting them tonight. Thanks. <laughs> Shay says nice stuff. Patricia says it's nice. I don't know how a manly mug, a manly guy would be wielding that mug around. Well, the mug's at home and it's a reminder for yourself. Cher says, sorry, I keep retracting my comments. I crack my screen and typing is a bit difficult. I fell off the fasting again after five days starting, aiming for 21 days for endometriosis, uh, endo, endometriosis health. That's awesome. Um, oops, what has mom coming? My mom started giving me a banana. How much have you lost? I've lost about over 20 pounds so far. For comic books, a slit. Since you weighed yourself, can you tell us your current weight, starting weight and goal weight? I'll keep it up to you guys at the end. So I'll let you guys know at the end about my full weight with pictures and everything. I'll put them in the form and I'll, I'll make a video about it too so you guys will get to see that. But yeah, that's pretty much all our exciting news. So check out the episode tomorrow and see like all these different things that I learned about obesity. And hey, and what do you do about headaches? Um, for headaches, just kind of got to see it through because the first couple days you'll have headaches. Um, Cher was saying that she just made it past five days. Remember how five days is incredible. So no matter what, five days is huge. Aim for little goals, practice and get better at it. You don't need to stress out like five days is huge. Huge, 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 huge. So don't forget that. And you guys all got this, you guys all keep it up. So I'm so, 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 so excited to help you guys achieve your goals this year. Like that's the biggest thing for me. And the reason I'm doing these documentaries like the episode I'm posting tomorrow at 11 is because I really wanna teach you guys about the different things and the, the hidden secrets about obesity because there's a lot of things because of propaganda and the food corporations that we didn't know that we're adopting that lifestyle now, but it was actually kind of messed up our whole way of eating. Because back in the day, people didn't eat like they do now and it started at some point, you know? So anyway, I hope this is a good day 14. Only a couple days left. I really feel like it's not that much. One, two, three, four, five, six days. And this day is gonna be like prepping and anticipating food all day. So I'm pretty excited for it. I don't know why you guys are all talking about banana splits right now. Greetings, what are your thoughts on fasting during cycle? Asada, fasting during cycle, totally fine. It's always great for me. 
Jeremy says, if you cut carbs and sugar before your fast, it will greatly reduce headaches. Exactly, 100%. Because when you start to reduce that sugar, you're not going to get the withdrawals as much. So as I always mention, try to ease into fasting. So start slowly and work your way up from there. So that's my best tip. If you guys want to click on my water fasting playlist and get through all those videos, those are probably some of my most useful tools. Headaches, are you drinking enough water? Yeah, you got to drink more water as well. Ah, so much news today. I'm feeling really good. My dog came inside and I didn't wash his paws, so I'm like kind of stressing out about him. Hey, hey buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he wants to come in the camera. Don't you want to come in the camera? You want to come in the camera? Uh, 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 you wanna go? Uh, yeah, uh, no, no, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I hope this was a good little live 30 minutes. I think I'm going to end it there for today because tomorrow you guys are going to have the video to watch and my live to watch. So good job, everybody. Go post on waterfastingforum.com. Check the link in the description. Check out your swag. Let me know which ones you like if you have any advice and I love you guys. You guys got this. You're all going to achieve this this year. Keep it going. Don't give up. Fail forward. Okay. I'll see you guys next time and happy fasting. Bye.